So we're here with the one and only Derek. Hi. Hi, how does it feel? It feels amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you to New You. I mean, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for the New You Beauty Awards. And what a blessing, and an unexpected blessing, which doesn't happen so much these days, does it? Absolutely. And you said it so well. I mean, you really told your story so eloquently. You know, can you sum it up a little bit for us how this night came together? Well, it was an unbelievable story because it was so unexpected. And I won the Style Icon Award yeah. in Miami at the Do You Beauty Wars. Yeah. And um, Cynthia Bailey, who was here and also a fabulous cover from New You, yeah. uh, gave me the award. Who's been my friend for maybe 20 something years. And we flew together. And, you know, it was like I was telling her on the plane ride how, number one, the award is so personal because. Style for me is so much about who I am because it kept me alive. And that's what, you know, everyone talks about style, but for me it was so, so personal. And then, and then we were crying a lot just from our history, our lives, our, you know, our loves and, and uh, just how tight we were and just how we've known each other and everything we'd been through together, obviously, you know, uh, weddings, divorce, you know, everything. And so... I got on stage and I wasn't really expecting to really kind of express myself the way I did. And it just felt comfortable. It felt safe. And even though it was a room of legends and it was some really unbelievable people, I just, it was my time. It was my time to tell my truth. And I just wanted to express the fact that, you know, we live in this world and we really need to take care of it. We need to take care of the people around us because that's all we have, you know? And all we have are ourselves at the end of the night, really, and our families and the people we love. But I just, you know, we need to tell our truths because mental health is the biggest issue right now. And, and we're coming out of the most traumatic time of our history, of our generation's history. And so I just told my truth about my past and how I was a homeless child and I was suicidal and abused and just, you know, I dreamed of being in this industry to be in rooms like that and to live the life that I'm so lucky enough to have because I just dreamed, never realizing that it was just, it was going to be my reality. But then as I grew, I had that life. But then there was still something inside of me that hadn't healed yet. And so I, was ta I said that I made this character called Derek Fabulous. And Derek Fabulous meant help, teach, inspire, love, and have fun. And that was when I started my program for the homeless in New York City. And that program ended up becoming a catalyst for the next part of my life that has really made my success happen, number one. And two, it healed me because I met so many beautiful, inspiring people that would come in and tell their stories about their lives and I could relate, I could learn, I could grow. And I always told my story first because I'm very aware of what I look like. I'm very aware of the life I live. And I wanted everyone to know that I am also from the same background, but their children can grow up to be just like me. Oh, that is so wonderful and true. They can be just yes, fabulous. Exactly. They can, just, they can be anything, but anything. They could be the president. They could be anything. And what's so important is that that is the message that I want to portray to people because frankly, I'm living proof. You could be anything you dream of being. And it's so beautiful to be able to tell that story. And so I, that was the story I told on stage. And I got off the stage and I went out back and it's like Carmen Dolorefice, the, the uh, Beverly Johnson, all these wonderful people were screaming and people were crying and they were like, oh my God. Wow. wow, 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 it was just a wow, you know, it was a wow situation. And so I walk off stage and I go out, I go out to take my seat again to listen to the other winners and, and congratulate. 
And a woman came over to me named Elise Harris. And she said that how moved she was and that she was going to write to me. And she did, and we were, we were bantering a little bit. And I wasn't sure what she was really needing or wanting. And so I, uh, but then she, she wrote to me one day and she said, I think there's a misunderstanding. Can we get on the phone? And I was like, of course. And then she said, no, I work with Face Stockholm. I played your video from the speech for them and they want to offer you your own line fr from that speech and I never met them. That's incredible. It was such a beautiful moment and it was so shocking and I was like, what? <laughs> of course I'm crying and you know, it's amazing. Like, I, they, I've never been given anything in my life, career, I've worked in this business for 30 years. I've had to blood, sweat, tears, fight for everything and earn it. And it was such an amazing moment because it was like the one time I really just tell my truth, let myself live in the light and love and everything. And this came from it. It was amazing. And so f from that, and I met the owners and they have an amazing story. It's a 40-year-old company. It started by this really cool woman named Goon in Stockholm, obviously, as a denim store. And then they got into makeup. And the daughter, Martina, is this beautiful, cool artist. And, you know, she was a dancer. And she's a personality. And she had had this career. And then the makeup thing just kind of took off for them and Barney's discovered that, you know, they were working with Barney's in New York and it was such a cool downtown brand. That's how I knew it and of course Europe. And then they made these decisions about the brand and you know, now they're in Hudson, New York, but of course they're still in, they're still in uh, Sweden and, and uh, sales everywhere. And so when we finally got on the phone, it was like so casual and so cool. And they were like, and I was like, oh my God, you know, I was so excited, and they were like, no, you, we are. And it was incredible for that moment, and I said, I just want to be very clear. I need to donate all my money back to the, my childhood, because if I hadn't had lived through these situations, no matter how dark they were, I wouldn't be here now, living in this kind of light, you know? And so that was such an incredible moment that they were like, done. Not even, didn't even think about it. And, you know, like, you know, I told in the speech laughing, it was like, you don't really start a business relationship like that. But I was like, oh, these are my kind of business people. <laughs> I was like, if they, you could see, you know, and, but they were green before it was cool. Like, they were green before they knew what that was. You know, yeah. that's just who they are. And, you know, and being European and, of course, Scandinavian, you know, they, they have a different way. And, but I, that's, then that's my way. That's, I like that. Yeah. And, um, so it was really incredible and such a blessing. And then we got a hold of Glisten, and I just loved the work. And, you know, it was started by educators. Everything starts with education. Yeah. We have to teach people acceptance if they don't know how. Right. And we have to stop judging people for not knowing. Right. Yeah. You know? It's so true, yeah, because people don't know. And, and which I don't blame anyone for not knowing. You know, it's like, but it's also a blessing to have the platform I have now yeah. because I can teach, inspire, love, yeah. you know? Yes, and also everyone is loving this line. It's, so, it's you. so you, it's so colorful. That's what people keep saying. They're like, this is Derek. What do you love about it? And what do you think that people are gonna love about it? What are some of your favorite products? Oh my gosh, well, first of all, I was in the factory and made glitter. Done. That's all I need in life. I was like, oh, the glitter. You know, I mean, of course, I love glitter and uh, just fun. You know, it's come on. I've been in this industry forever. And so, you know, it's part, it's part of my je ne sais quoi. Um, and so I love the glitter because it's so light and it's just it's almost like fluffy and it's not heavy. So you can like wear it on your cheek and it's like nothing there. But it just gives you a little light again, living in the light. Yeah. Living in the light. That's our theme. Living the light. And also, too, I have a philosophy. You know, I, I started my career in makeup, and I was in Italy, and I worked in-house, and I did all kinds of things with um, uh, Moschino, and, you know, I worked the collections and whatnot. And 
What I really love is always being able to not be afraid of color, but you don't do it as like a heavy thing. You do it with your finger. You make it really light. You blend it in because I love skin. I love really touchable skin because I think skin should not be untouchable. I think it should just be like supple and soft and beautiful where people are like, oh, right? Because every time you get a comment, it's like, oh, you're glowing, right? right? Yeah. And so I feel that makeup could be very touchable. And I like, like I, don't, like, I don't necessarily need a lot of lines. You know, and I think that so many people get afraid of color. Mm -hmm. But if you do it really lightly and you just blend, 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 blend. But using your finger, listen, everybody got a finger, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers don't cost no money, <laughs> you know? So, so it's like you have this and then you just touch and it doesn't have to be a big thing. And sometimes it's just a little bit like like with your eyes, you'd be so great on some of the palettes where it's like, oh, you just add a little pink or a little orange or a little, you know, a little of the teal just like at the corner and you just like touch it in and then done. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a thing, you know, and because I know so many people are so busy and it's so hard to do this heavy makeup all the time. And so you just touch, t t like feel and touch. That's what that's why I really like it, because you know, and, and what's great about it, there's enough color that you get it, but it, it's not overbearing. And that's what's great about the entire line also for fa face.com is that it's not overbearing. It's just enough. Wonderful, yes, and everyone seems to be loving it. Everyone had a great time tonight. What yeah. was your, how do you feel about this event? Oh my God, you know what it was? So many people I love came. So many people were here, and I love that so many New York covers were here, by the way. Yeah, that's true. So fun. Well, but I was so thrilled just because, you know, Cynthia had given me the award, and then uh, PETA, I had just styled for the July, July issue. And uh, so that was really wonderful. And of course, I mean, we've been friends forever, too. And then Daniel Gillies came, and Taryn Manning, who I've done tons of stuff with, and she's such a joy and such an artist. And I love. I love Hollywood because you meet these people that you would never meet anywhere else mm -hmm. in these unbelievable circumstances that you would just never have. Like, th there's nowhere like this in the world. Right. And that's why I love it. You know, and, and I also love that the life here is so special because you're at a makeup opening. Mm -hmm. In the morning, you're going hiking. Mm -hmm. Then you can go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Then you can go to Paris Hilton's Pride Party tomorrow night. Or actually, you can go to my uh, Lapeer Hotel Pride Party from two to six tomorrow because that's where I am. You know, so it's like so you get to have the, all these unbelievable experiences, and life is about experiences, and having a great time, and being able to just live life, and that's why I love Hollywood, and that's why I love being here, and that's why I was so grateful for tonight, and what a great experience. Such a great experience. And well, you know we're all about beauty at New You, so biggest beauty secret or your favorite beauty secret? Oh my gosh, uh, vitamin C. Vitamin C, we've heard this tonight. This yeah. Is a running thing. Vitamin C for sure because Dr. Michael Newman, yes. who is my favorite doctor, uh, always puts me on vitamin C. Yes. And I will admit, I am uh, 48 years old in July. And I just did a beauty campaign, so clearly my regime is working. And so I will stick to that, and vitamin C works. Done. Okay. Boom, mic drop. <laughs>